Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong. Good morning, together. good morning. How are you today? I hope you're all well. Anyway, so how are you going? We're going to use the Ornate Garden Suite today. Um, there's some beautiful paper in it. And um, hello, Elaine. So this is some of the paper in the Ornate Garden Suite. And we're going to make a flip box now. All right, I've just just a couple of messages last chance uh, products get them by the 2nd of June or before they're gone they're only lasting while stocks last um, some great bargains to be had up to 60% off some products so get them before they go and then the new catalogue goes live on June the 3rd now if you're one of my customers and uh, you'd like a catalogue contact me and I'll let you know how to get one. At the moment you can buy the Ornate Garden Suite. It's been an early release. Then coming up in August we've got Paper Pumpkin. So um, you'll have to let me know whether you want one of those because they went very quickly last time. So um, I don't think there are any other messages I've got for you today. Now, if you've got an order that's more than $169, you can join. Join my team and you can actually choose some of uh, the products from the new annual catalogue, which I had somewhere, yes, here. So from the new annual catalogue, you can choose some products from there to put in your kit plus whatever else you'd like from the clearance rack, from Last Chance products, from the 2020 January to June mini catalogue or from the current annual catalogue. So, and there's no obligation once you've joined. If you don't want to continue, that's fine. But if you want to continue and get the benefits of 20% off, um, that's good too. Okay, now... I'm going to show you sort of what I started with. All right, so the, the base works and we put a little bit in here and it's a flip top box. All right, so I made that out of the mosaic, whatever. And today we're going to make one out of the ornate garden um, suite of this. Um, and it coordinates with bumblebee which we don't have yet early espresso mint macaron old olive terracotta tile and whisper white so there's some lovely papers in there and you can get that now it's in the in the new annual catalog but it's available now if you want to order it and i'll just pop that away so it's not in the way anymore and of course along with that you can also buy other products from the suite um, there's ornate sinks which goes with these dies i think no ornate style goes with those dies and ornate find it here ornate border dies goes with that so lovely stamp set i've used that quite a bit and the ornate border dies they come as a bundle so if you buy them as a bundle you get 10 percent um, off as a bundle and then um there's the Ornate Thanks with lots of lovely sentiments in it and it comes with the Ornate Layers dies. So we're going to use some of those today. Plus you can get a bundle of clip, um, terracotta tile and old olive 
ribbon, which is beautiful. All right, so you need two pieces of DSP, and I've already cut mine. I'm going to use the goldy color on here. So you need two pieces cut to nine inches by seven and three quarter inches or uh, 23 centimeters by 9.7 centimeters. So I just found it was easier in inches because you could use whole measurements um, except for one. Centimeters, there are a lot of millimeters involved so i have a bit of a template here of how it's going to look when um we cut it out we cut all these sections away we cut this down here away and then we start to put it together and we cut these two bits away so i'll put all this on my blog um with all the measurements and everything and you can see how the template's supposed to look. All right, so on the 9-inch side or the 23-centimetre side, you're going to score at 2 and 3 quarter inches or si and 6 and a quarter inches. So 2 and 3 quarter inches is 7 centimetres. And you're going to do two exactly the same and six and a quarter inches, which is, good on me, lost it. Um, yeah, I'll have to tell you in a minute when I find it. These are my scribbles, seven centimetres and I've written down the wrong measurements here. I'll tell you what that is. Uh, 15, 16 centimetres maybe. I'll just get my ruler and check for you because I've got the wrong measurement down on my bit of paper. So it's at, I'll just put a pencil mark there. So it's at, yeah, 15.8, 15.8. So 7 centimetres and 15.8. No wonder I had trouble with the lid. All right, now I like to just um, fold them and you'll see why in a minute. Because this DSP is hard to see where your score lines are, just makes it easier if you fold them. All right, then we're going to do a quarter turn. And we're going to score at three quarters of an inch or 1.9 centimeters, um, three and a half inches or 8.9 centimeters, and then seven inches or 17.8 centimeters. Okay, now you need to turn it a Quarter turn to your left. So you're going anti-clockwise. Yes, anti-clockwise. And you'll see that you've got, show you on the template, a big box here and a small box here. You want the big box up the top. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Rails. Rails, um, I hope you got your bow tying tool definitely on the way and I've kept the receipt all right so we've got this big box here at the top so we're just going to score down here to the first line and here to the first line all right so we're going to score at two inches or five centimeters just to that first line and I'm going to put a pencil mark in there so you can see. And then at, um, what did I say, 7 inches. So again, I'll put the pencil mark in just so you can see. All right. So we've just gone down to that first score line, which is at 3 quarters of an inch. 
All right, now you're going to take your snips and just cut down that line that you just scored. Try and make it straight. Sometimes mine are a bit wobbly. I had eye surgery yesterday, so I'm struggling a bit with my sight today. But anyway, all right. And from there, you're going to mark a point on that first big box. So down here, so you're going to go from here to there and here to there. Show you here on my template. So there the that's where we've just cut, and we're going to cut all the way down to that second score line. So I like to use my trimmer to do that. So I line up the points and sometimes it's easier if you turn this three quarters of an inch bit that we're not using at the moment turn it over and it just helps you see where those points are and then just come in with your trimmer and trim them off you can do it with scissors if you like it's up to you just find whatever works I just use my trimmer because it gives me a straight line. You could rule that line in as well and um, use it that way. So now our template looks like that. Okay. So then we just need to take these little flaps off down the bottom here. So there's one here to there and there. And then again on the other side, there to there to there. And you've already scored those. So I'm just going to use my snips to come up. All right, now I'm just going to use my trimmer, line it up on the three quarter inch mark, or what did I say it was? Yeah, and just trim up. Can't see that. All right, trim up to that little pencil dot. Doesn't matter if you don't go quite far enough. And then lift your trimmer, and you're going to go back to. All right, so, and then you can just use your snips to cut the rest of that if it didn't cut quite far enough. All right, now we're going to start putting it together. You need to make two of these, but we'll make one. Whoops. We'll make one and see how things are travelling. And, oh, you got it today. Great. Thanks, Rails, for letting me know. Hi, Mary must be very late where you are we've got uh, a cold and windy day here coming into winter all the children have gone back to school my grandchildren think it's great because they can see their friends all right so come in with your bone folder and just burnish all those score lines now with dsp depending on the weight of the dsp you just need to be a little bit careful so that you um, are not scoring all the way through your paper. Ask me how I know. See this template? This template I made is cut because I scored too heavily. So that's our template. You'll be able to see. And that's my dog. All right. You'll be able to see how that's coming together now. All right, not exact, but you know, so you've got some idea. Now we're going to cut off a little bit here and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so you're going to cut along here. Um, use your snips, but you've already scored the line, so you'll be able to see quite easily where you're going to cut. And make the line as straight as you can, she says, after making a, a crooked line. Um, because you're going to see this, it's on the outside of the box. All right. And then the same on the other side. I am having a bit of trouble with my vision today after eye surgery yesterday. But um, we'll just see how things go, eh? not sore just a bit blurry okay 
So, now, here's where we're going to cut this little bit, this little bit here, off. So, bring up this flap, this wing. Oh, before we do that, we're just going to cut along here. Just trim up there to the three-quarter inch line or what's three quarters of an inch two centimeters all right all right so now you're going to bring your little wing in and square it up like that get your pencil I'll just put mine down somewhere safe and just put a mark where um the wing bit meets the bottom all right do the same on the other side so bring it up nice and flat and just put a mark with your pencil now you can get a ruler or you can just do it by eye and i'm just going to use a ruler so you can see what i'm doing you're going to cut that bit off all right and then the same on the other side yep having a bit of trouble a bit hard to tell whether it's a mark or a floater in my eye all right and you're going to cut that bit off okay so just use your snips you can use your trimmer if you want and just cut them off and the same on this side all right so that's one bit so i'll just walk you through it quickly again while we do the second piece so that you know what's going on again and i will put all this up on my blog all right so um nine inches by seven and three quarter inches and you're going to score at two and three quarters or six and a quarter or seven and 15.8 all right so you've got those metric measurements there if you want them rotate it one quarter and you're going to score at three quarters of an inch or two centimeters it's actually 1.9 centimeters so the three quarters of an inch or 1.9 centimeters um three and a half inches or 8.9 centimeters and seven inches or 17.8 centimeters rotate it to your left so that you've got the big box up the top and you're going to score at two inches just down to the first score line or five centimeters and what's the other one two inches and, and 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 seven inches or 17.8 centimeters just down to that three quarter inch mark all right then i'm just going to cut down here down those score lines we just made all right and then we're going to trim from that point to there so from the second score line on the edge to where you just chopped so i'm just going to put a pencil mark in because it makes it easier for me to see all right so i'm just going to bring in my trimmer fold this bit under it makes it easier for you to see what you're doing bring in your trimmer or your scissors line up your points now don't throw those bits out because you can use them for something else um, on a card as a background or on a scrapbook page as a layer all right might have gone a bit far on that one um okay then I need to trim these bits off so I'm going to there 
to there and we're cutting that bit that bit there to there all right so that's on the three quarter inch mark or two centimeters 1.9 centimeters and you're just going to cut in sorry i've just lost my dot to that first score line anyway i haven't had any trouble with these floaters in my eye until now and when you need to see <laughs> dark pencil marks and all you can see are floaters yep that wasn't quite at three quarters of an inch sorry i'm gonna have to just make my life a little bit difficult all right move the trimmer away so we'll just cut up there cut up there first pencil mark first trim was terrible no no we need a line all right so i'll just cut along there that makes it easier i can see that all right now these bits great for layers great for um putting little tags and stuff over so don't throw them out all right come in with your bone folder and you're going to burnish all those lines pretty paper and it's a nice weight it's not flimsy it's quite sturdy card uh, DSP all right then I'm going to cut the wings so along this score line here flip it around gee I almost got on the score line there all right flip it around and do the other one is it light enough everyone i could turn another light on if you're finding it difficult to see is it just my vision today all right now we're going to cut our wing bits so we're going to take our wing up like that put a pencil mark same on the other side make sure it's nice and square Put a pencil mark and then either come in with your ruler or some um, long snips and you're going to cut from there to there and here to there gee i hope this works <laughs> oh dear nothing like winging it is there just going to have some coffee all right anyone else got this dsp it is beautiful oh if you like the copper foil it's um in the last chance product list so get it before it's gone i love the copper foil i used it for scrapbooking and all sorts of things different techniques have you seen my how do i do that i know rails has um my how do i do that videos every monday i share a new technique um this last monday was something quick and easy temporarily forgotten faux fabric that's what it was all right now we're going to start putting this together all right so we've burnished all our score lines haven't we and we're going to start putting this together so this bit goes under there like that we're going to glue that and i'm just using yeah i didn't like you know it's really hard to see in the catalog i reckon what dsp looks like you know because you get a glimpse of each sheet and you think, yeah, no, I don't like that. And then you see it on different projects. You see larger pieces on different projects. And um, you think, oh, that's not so bad. So we're going to glue both these flaps in. Um, I recommend liquid glue because it's stronger than snail. I put snail on my prototype to start with. 
I must admit I didn't use a lot of snail um, but it um, came apart quite easily. Alright so these little flaps come in and you're going to glue them up. Alright now you can trim a little bit off the top just so they don't um, show but only you know like mitering so you're not losing a lot off it so just a little whisker now you will need another piece of DSP which is um, 10 and 3 eighths of an inch by 2 and 3 quarters centimeters or 7 centimeters by 26.9 centimeters and you'll see why in a minute all right so just hold that together let that one dry bring in your other one and we're going to do the same putting it together with our glue oh might help if i take the lid off not enough coffee oh and i'm finally going to see a hand and wrist surgeon in june about my left hand issues i hate getting old it's no fun everything starts to stop working properly see how they're sort of both starting to look the same push the tabs in and then glue them as well what's everybody up to anyone gone back to work yet you can't comment on the rail i know you watch them i haven't seen any comments for the last couple of weeks are you having trouble commenting on them is that the problem all right so that's like that okay now before we go any further i just think this is easier to do this way we're going to pick a top and a bottom in a minute but for the purposes of this we're just going to use i think this side all right now this piece is 10 and 3 eighths by two and three quarters or seven centimeters by 26.9 centimeters and it's going to fit in here it's not something's gone wrong okay it should fit in here like this but it's gone wrong so all right this is making it up as i go along because um this piece is not working all right so this piece is designed to go inside all right let's do this mathematically okay so we've got nine centimeters nine so that's three nines are 27 yes 27 centimeters by seven centimeters is that what i said yeah seven centimeters so that should work why isn't that working all right try again it's got to go in here it's going to work all right so just pop it in make sure um the edge is right up in the corner and you're just going to bring it right down to the first corner and pinch all right so that's going to work like this so then where you've pinched you're going to score make sure that edges are straight all right so that's your first one and then your next one is going to go in look like that make sure it's right up in the corner i don't know if you can see that right up in there and then come down to the corner and pinch and that's where your next score line is going to be it really should be at nine and nine for some reason it works better this way and just burnish that all right so we're going to put that in in a minute all right now we're going to choose a top and a bottom i think i'll have this as the top so i'm just going to wait while i see if this is going to work 
No, I've done something wrong again, but anyway, that's it. Okay, so we're going to trim. We're going to stick this piece on the flap, whichever you is top. See this bit here that we've got left over? You're going to just put some glue along that and stick that inside. Okay, then this bit goes at the front of your box like that and that's going to close over there like that all right so you're going to put glue on this and you're going to stick that inside just like that all right you're not going to be able to see that um so when it's closed let's see if i can open it a bit all right if i open it you'll be able to see where i'm sticking it down in there okay so you should be able to bend back and stick it down so it goes to the inside so one of those flaps Oh, I'll check that out, Grail. Thanks for letting me know. All right, so one of your flaps that uh, one of the, these bits here on the template. So one of these bits you glue um, inside and it goes on your box opposite to the other one, right? So it goes in like that. All right, then this piece that we just did going to when your box is glued together all right you're just going to put a bit of glue you can glue it in or you can leave it just put a bit of glue to hold it i think so i'm just going to add a bit down the bottom all the way around okay you can add more glue once that bit's glued in if you don't think it's holding well enough so just press in with your fingers so it grips leslie's a lady of leisure i'm a lady of leisure too sort of <laughs> all right now see here how it seems to have gone a bit too high you need to trim that off I, mustn't, I haven't pushed that down far enough, that's what the problem is. Alright, if that's a little bit high, you can come in and trim it. But if you push it right down, that should hold it. Now, I'm seeing that I've got a bit of a gap here, so I'm just going to squirt a bit of Tombow down there and hold it, a bit of Tombow and hold it at a zoom team meeting the other day i really liked doing those and then made a card so my card will go up on my blog tomorrow just get a wet wipe to clean off the glue from my fingers so there's our box so far uh, much better than my prototype which i glued back um back the front so don't glue <laughs> Don't glue both these bits on the same side, all right? So if I was to take, I don't know if I can take that apart now. But anyway, I've glued that back the front. So you want your, your bottom to go one way, then flip your top around and it'll go the other way and glue this little tag bit inside it. All right, so now what have I got I've got from oh thanks rails yeah i can play in my room too i need to do some sewing though all right so i've got um some of this didn't get all the bits of card out when i die cut it so i used the ornate i'll tell you i use these ones the ornate cut uh, ornate layers dies and I've die cut an old olive piece of card 
Now, um, I'll just show you something. So I've got that. Mm -hmm. Don't know. We might put that on there. Um, when you when you use these dies, stupid here, stupid here. You realised. You can emboss with these as well, so not just die cutting. I just cut this and was left with a piece of card with a whole lot of holes in it. <laughs> but if you cut the two together, which you can do at the same time, run it through your die cutting machine, you get this pretty pattern. Isn't that clever? So I just thought I'd share that with you. Oh, somebody pulled up outside our house. Okay, so they're beautiful dies. And what I did was I went ahead and die cut. I've got some in terracotta tile too. And I've got um, this whisper white piece that I thought we might use. I just need to get rid of some of the um, bits and pieces out of it. So... I'll just get my take your pick tool and use the die die brush bit now. Alright, I'm lazy but I just pick it up. You can attach it to your take your pick tool but this works just as well. Uh, I worked this out the other day. I was in a hurry to do something. With it. I had the brush out for some reason and didn't have anything else out. So I just thought, oh, this works. As long as you've got a bit of foam underneath and you're not too hard with it. It gets most of it out, she says. All right, and then just come in with the piercing tool and encourage any other bits to come out. Maybe I didn't die cut it properly. Okay. That one just does not want to come out. I'm giving it a little help with fingernails. That always helps, doesn't it? I've got one bit. I've got one bit. Okay. No. It's definitely stuck. No, there it is. All right. It's always a problem, child. I used to like it at the beginning of every new school year. And you'd say, all right, take a seat. And um, always the, the kids who either didn't want to learn or were going to cause you trouble would sit up the back. So I'd leave them like that for a day and then the next day I'd say, right, we're changing. You, you, you and you sit here. You, you, you and you sit here. And by the second day I'd, I'd worked out groups and oh, I don't want to sit here. Excuse me. <laughs> sit here, told to sit. Thank you. I said, We'll see how this goes for a little while and then if you, you know, work really well, um, we can change the groups around. And usually the groups stay. Um, just, I just move them around the room so they've got a different view. But 
don't know why kids always think teachers are stupid. I suppose it's like they think parents are stupid. But anyway, my dog's barking at whoever's parked out the front. The lady next door's finished her re renovations, thank goodness. Last week it was just all noise. Oh, look, I can't be bothered doing this anymore. I should have um, yeah, done it before the video, but... I think that's nearly all of it. Missed a bit over here, but you'll get the idea. Alright, so there's our bits. I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore because it's just going everywhere. And then we're going to get um, stamp. This away later. It's all. There we go. All right, I'm going to get a stamp. Um, to stamp in there. So I'm just going to put a thanks on it. But there's some lovely sentiments in this ornate thanks. I was a school teacher in Wales for forty years. 25 of those years I was a deputy principal or acting principal. Um, I loved my time in the classroom. I worked a lot with um, challenging children, children with challenging behaviours, uh, children with learning disorders and um, children on the autism spectrum. So, and I enjoyed working with those kids who got a real um, thrill out of watching them learn. And um, I had one family at one school who um, were adopted and... All four children had been born drug addicted and terrible things happened to those kids uh, that I'm not going to go into. But um, Sorry, this stamp's on crooked. Um, so I left that school um, seven years ago now and the the mum who adopted the children is still in touch with me and the boy used to spend quite a bit of time in my office um, and I'd just say, oh, he'd come to my office and with a note, you know. So and so is here for a long wait. Now I stamped that off because I think terracotta tile is quite a vivid um, colour, and um, on my ink pads. So I'm just going to add some dimensionals to that. Yeah. So anyway, he come come to my office for a long wait, which was you know um, code for. I've had enough and I just need a break. Um, so he'd come in and one day he came in and I said, oh, what's the problem today? Oh, we're doing, I don't know what they were doing, but he didn't want to do it. Do or die, he wasn't going to do it. And he was causing his teacher and the class, and I've just lost my glue lid, um, all sorts of problems. And I said, oh, okay, well, you, you can't come in here and just sit. You've got to work. So what are we going to work on? Oh, he wanted to find out about sharks. So we went on the computer and 
found all this information on sharks and um, pictures and, and everything and so I, because I was the DP I had, you know, photocopier etc in my room and well not a photocopier, a printer in my room and computer he could use so I, um, I said to him alright and I printed out the information and some pictures and I said alright now read that to me so he read me a bit and I said okay now I want you to um, go and um, right sit sit here at the table and you're going to just put that on there Write me what you remember. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, yes, you can. I said, I told you, you can't come in here. I think we'll ditch those, don't you? Put some ribbon on, do you think? What do you think? Ribbon or the card stock? So I said to him, right, you've got to do some work in here. You can't just sit here and do nothing. Um, and he's... So I said, right, so you're going to write me a story about what you remember. And he did. He ended up with about two, two full pages. And for a boy, his writing was quite neat. And um, then we put pic the pictures on it and everything. And he was in my office for a couple of hours and he worked really well. And... Um, yeah, so, you know, every now and then it surprised me and do some really good stuff. So, anyway, his, the mum who adopted them is still in touch with me and he's now been diagnosed with um, bipolar disorder and a few other things. But anyway, so that's one story. <laughs> I've got lots of stories. Not all of them good. But that was a good that was a good one. Right, I've still lost my glue lid. So where did I put it, girls? Where did I put my glue lid? It's not in my coffee. I just checked. Put it somewhere safe. Maybe it's in the bin. Oh, no, maybe it's in the glue pot. That's a good place to put it, isn't it? All right, so we're going ribbon or card and which, what colour ribbon? Ribbon? Ribbon. Okay, get rid of the card. What colour ribbon? Do we want the terracotta tile or do we want the old olive? <laughs> it requires lots of patience, Rails. And I tell you what, you need more patience with the parents than you do with the kids. <laughs> All right, terracotta tile. Is that what we're going with? Okay, bring in my ribbon, my bow tying tool, because I can. All right, you're watching Rails, and there's a video on my YouTube channel um, to show you how to tie the bows, Rails, plus the instructions you got. So I'm just going to do, I've got this much ribbon, so we'll just see how we go. There we go, look, we can do a multi-loop ribbon with what I've got here. And we'll just take that under. I'm going to start calling it Noisy Tuesday. But at least Facebook's working nicely today. Oh, last week I nearly tossed it in. 
hate it when things don't work properly when you've been doing them one way for so long but I wasn't the only one who had problems last week lots of people had problems my friend Marilyn Meadows from New Zealand she um, she had terrible problems these aren't my ribbon scissors hey my ribbon scissors that got that what color was that um, it was with the coastal cabana strawberry slush or something love that ribbon I'm not sure if that was the strawberry slush or whatever else anyway okay so take it off your bow tying tool and I sell the bow tying tools $15 postage anywhere in Australia because um, the postage is $9 or close to right and then just spread it out spread the loops out I mean oh, yeah this one's going to be difficult isn't it there's always one diff problem child okay I used to have a chair in my office that kids who had problems could just come and sit in the chair and um, when they were ready to talk they'd um, sit there and calm down the chair I wouldn't say anything to them they knew they could just come and sit on the chair it was just inside my door and um, when they were ready to talk we'd chat I had one child who was on the autism spectrum and he was always having trouble in the playground and um, he'd come in really really angry and I'd say to him all right we'll just, just sit there and calm down for a minute and then we'll talk through the problem and see what we can do about it and kids well, kids can be quite nasty and um, so, you know, he'd um, sit there for five or ten minutes and I'd just keep an eye on him and uh, then when he'd sort of calm down, you could physically see him calming down, you know, and... Um, when he'd come down, I'd say to him, all right, what's the problem? And he'd tell me and say, okay, well, how are we going to fix it? Um, oh, well, I could talk to them. Yes. Or you could talk to them. Yes. I could walk away. Yes. I said, they're all good solutions. I said, well, how about we start with, I'll have a talk to them and then if they bother you again, we'll go from there. So I'd have a talk to them. Lo and behold, there wouldn't be too many more problems and if there was, they'd spend their lunch time with me. Um, instead of out playing. So <laughs> it worked. All right, so there's our box and you can fit, you know what, I've put that on back the front. Have I? I have. Oh, too busy talking. All right, pop it on that way. That might work. All right, so there's our box and we've used the ornate garden suite. So it's got the DSP in it. Um, it's got 
the ornate thanks and layers bundle and you can buy bits and pieces of it and it's got ornate style I've used this quite a bit for different things I did a um, a win frosted window cart the other day with this and coloured them with stamp and blends and then I did I think the faux fabric I did with this one too it's so it's quite versatile and it comes with the ornate border dies and we've used our stamp and uh, our take your pick tool liquid glue the ribbon terracotta tile it comes in terracotta tile and old olive as a combo and various other products so that's it for today girls yeah give it a try i suggest i'm going to put the i'll, I'll draw up a better template than this but I'll put the template on my blog probably Saturday. It could be Friday, but I'd rather say Saturday, so I know it's there. Um, I suggest you give it a try with um, scrap paper or something first, just so you can get it right. But just remember that the two bits that you make the two box bits one goes one way and the top turn it around and it goes the other way all right and for the top you glue that little bit in um, and then on the bottom you glue that bit out like into the inside of the other one so just remember that the bottom goes maybe facing away from you and the top goes facing to you. That might help. And then you've got that um, this bit here that we put in that will hold quite a, a few things. So it's um, about 9 by 9 centimetres or whatever that is. Um, I'll tell you, nine centimeters is what happened to my ruler? Nine centimeters is the same as oh dear, brain's not working, eyes aren't working, brain's not working. All right, nine centimeters is the same as two three and um a half or three i'll measure this yes about three and a half all right so and it's three and a quarter tall oh no three and a half tall because i've got a bit on the end nine centimeters tall so it's a cube okay all right so um all being well i'll see you again next week same Everybody time same back channel bye for now